everyone. This is Dr. Palacios, and I'm here to continue talking about migraine headaches. And I want to give you a little gift for sticking with me and also helping you out in case you want some organization in what I've mentioned about migraines, tension headaches, and cluster headaches. So if you're able to see on my screen, you're going to see the following table right here. So I made this little table for you in case you want to take a look at what are the differences between migraine headaches, tension headaches, and cluster headaches. As you see, the pain quality, I'm talking about the pain quality between migraines, tension, and cluster headaches. We have pulsating, dull, and intense, a pain level on a scale of one to 10. Again, remember one being no pain, 10 being can, can't even get out of bed pain. Three to eight, one to 10 tension headaches and nine to 10 in cluster headaches. Now the headache gets worse in migraines by physical activity. In tension headaches, they get worse by touch. And then in cluster headaches, not really because they're already painful enough. Now the location of the pain, again, migraines one-sided, cluster is one-sided and then tension are both sided. Not always the same, but this is, we're following the rule of likelihood. Duration, four to 72 hours, tension headaches, days to weeks, and cluster headaches, 15 minutes to three hours. And then here are the other symptoms that I'll have you read on your own. Likelihood of which type of headache is likely to happen, like which headache is more common. And then this is what it feels like. In migraine headaches, it feels like a ghost is hitting me with a hammer consistently, no stop. In tension headaches, it feels like a bear is tightly hugging my head and just constricting it more and more and more. And for a cluster headache, it feels like I have a hot pocket inside of my eye. And then this is the sex ratio of how common it is between males and females. So in migraines, it is more common in females, one to three. In tension headaches, also more common in females, one to six. And for cluster headaches, it's more common for males than females. And again, my little disclaimer here, this is only for informational purposes. And I'm going to show you now where to find this link. So right here on the search bar, you can click on the link below that I post here or simply type the website. So this is my website. We're gonna find it under NatMed. I'm going to put a shopping tab soon, but you keep going down here. And then this is where it says file to download. This is where you wanna go. And this is it, migraine versus tension versus cluster headaches. There are other files if you wanna take a look. These are all for free, except the Amplex Pharmacology Study Guide. But these are all for you as well. Please feel free to take a look. Migraine and tension headaches. So you go here, we add it to the cart, proceed to checkout. And it's just going to ask you some basic information. Then it's going to go on the billing and the payment. And you don't have to worry about any of that because it is for free. So that comes to our conclusion of the three most common kinds of headaches. And I hope this worksheet helps you and you can keep it at your own discretion. And please feel free to share it to anybody else who would find this beneficial. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.